Thanks so much, Steph. I'm so happy right now. You'll find out why in about a second. It smells amazing. Chef Rodney Bowers is a carnivore turned vegetarian who wants you to know that nutritious meals don't have to sacrifice on flavor. He joins us now to share a delicious and nutritious veggie pack recipe. Good morning. How are you, Chef? Good morning, Dee. How are you? You know, I'm very happy because you brought me some food. It's right up my alley. We just talked briefly. And I eat, I've gone from vegetarian to vegan to like flexitarian, Mediterranean. A good 97% of the time is plant-based for me for a variety of reasons. Tell us how you went from being a legit carnivore with a resto called Hey Meatball to trying more plant-based. Uh, it, was, it was an easy transition, I got to tell you. I went since last February. So it's been almost a year. And not just Hey Meatball, my restaurants before that, we were full nose to tail, getting whole animals in, breaking them all down and every little bits and pieces. And it's been, it's been incredible. It's been so good for my body. All of my uh, sugars and cholesterol levels have dropped significantly. I'm slowly but surely, it's a slow burn on, um, you know, shedding a little bit of this extra weight that I have, wink, wink. And uh, it's been great. It's been so good. And people think that you lose a lot with becoming a uh, plant-based eater, but it opens up a world. It's so incredible. There's You're so right. many great vegetables. Yeah. It's a misconception that all you're eating is salads or boring thin soups or boring smoothies. Look at this. What did you make here? This is a hearty, delicious meal. This is red curried vegetables. And this was just bits and bobs I had lying around in my fridge. I always have a little bit of tofu, but if you have some broccoli, put in some broccoli. If you have cauliflower, that goes in. I use baby carrots for the kids' lunches. There's some of those in there. And then, you know, you take some stuff from your pantry, a little bit of red curry, you know, you have some coconut milk, mm. and it just comes together in a second. The flavor, there's a little kick, some spice in here too. A little oh my bit. gosh, little... and look how pretty, look at the carrots. How did you do this fancy schmancy design on the edge of your carrots? You take a little bit, uh, a canal knife like yeah. that, and you go, I, I did it all for you. It's all in, you look before you eat. Mm -mm. Scrape the carrots and then cut it. It looks like a little bit of a flower. I can't even tell you how good this is. There's tofu in here. A lot of people are freaked out by tofu. Basically, right. it absorbs the flavor of whatever your sauce is, right? It takes it on, and you can give it a sear, and it's almost like a sponge, but packed full of protein, right? Go for organic if you can, if you can uh, get it. And I like the firm tofu because it, it has that texture. If you're ever missing texture from meat, firm tofu is the way to go. Give it a little press, get out some of that water, and you can't even tell the difference. P.S. I noticed you put cilantro on here, which I love as well. It's a good detoxer. Some people don't like yeah. it. It's like a taste bud thing. So what you can leave out, like you said, whatever you don't like. But talk yeah. to me about, because Sid Sixero is listening, and he's a, he's a proud carnivore. Straight, get yes. it to him straight. What is the hardest thing or was the hardest thing in terms of cutting out meat? What was the hardest part? I think if you, you know, you get that crispy burger feel. I miss the taste of a good burger. Yeah. Um, and there's that richness that comes. You, there are certain imitations, but then you stop trying to imitate meat. That's the whole point. That's true. And you just lean into vegetables. You just put your whole effort into making a vegetable taste great instead of meat is so easy to cook. Mm -hmm. You throw it on a grill, you throw it in an oven, you roast it, you sear it, it's done, right? The only thing you have to worry about is overcooking it. That's true. Right? This vegetables, takes more time. There's, yeah, there's some finesse, you're a bit of a magician. I feel like you can call yourself more of a, a cook or a home chef. I agree. If you get into vegetables, right? I agree. Okay, now the easiest yeah. part you said is that the celebration of food and feeling better Feeling and better. Feeling better. Like it's all about how you feel. And the great thing is, is I, um, I am a person that needs to be satiated with a certain amount of food and vegetables. Yeah. I just pack into my diet. I just eat until I can. And you don't get that with meat because you feel that that heavy. Yeah. You know? Yeah. The digesting. Right? Yes. Remember the meat sweats. Who yeah, needs the that? meat sweats. You know, there's I, no such thing as broccoli sweats. I love them. Chef, can you please open yes. up a restaurant that serves all this goodness? Because I feel like it's time. Can Fingers you? crossed. Yes? Yeah. And can you call the right. restaurant? <laughs> Come in and don't feel <laughs> 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 Chef, where do we find more info? Thank you, because I'm going to eat this all morning long. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram. This recipe you can actually find on uh, 
www.ca, mm. um, uh, which is great. It's all over there and it's sure. free to you. Check it out. It's awesome. Um, and all the ingredients in there and where to get. And you know what? There's all kinds of substitutions as well. So you can make this recipe whether you live in Saskatoon or downtown Toronto or in um, central Newfoundland. It's all very accessible food. I would eat this morning, noon, and night. I would eat it cold. I would eat it warm. I would eat it piping hot. I would eat it in the breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack category. Sid, what do you think about this? I, res I, mean, I, I respect I, any vegan or any chef vegan out there because I have no willpower and I'm a weak human being. But weak. It's all about so the So Chef Rodney, profile. God bless you, love you. This like, is this is it would not, not be easy for me. Not easy. Like the we're mushrooms. Not here to judge. Baby steps. It's really? Baby steps. Because yeah. I can't be very yeah. judgy. It's okay. It's a <laughs> chef. No. If you want to He's be judgy, right. go baby ahead. steps. One plantless meal at a time. He did it. Yeah. Thanks, Chef. Thank Take you care, for feeding chef. me. I'm gonna keep eating. Okay. Thanks for having me, Delicious. guys. Take really care. Appreciate it. You're missing All out, right. man.